Let's start with the window. The overall bounding size can be set like any other window. I'll switch this to an elevation view so we can see what happens to the shape as I edit it. As an aside, you can see that I'm working with metric units, primarily millimeters, but this works just the same way in imperial units. Now let's start with the overall window shape. You can see that we've got a, a wide variety of things that can be edited. And we can quickly see how this approach varies from the standard Archicad library, where I can pick a head shape for the window falling in one direction or the other, or a shape for the bottom. This approach is effectively combining the characteristics that you might have to derive from many different Graphisoft windows, but combines it into a single object. I'll be specifying just a, a shape for the head for this demo. Now I want to divide this window into four sections of 800 mils, and I'd like either side of it to be level. So I'll start by setting level on either side for 800 mils, and then the rising section in the middle I'd like to be 400. Now you can see that the angle immediately updates when I set the rise. Those two are interactive, so changing one automatically updates the other. Now I'd like the top part of this window to be just a fixed panel. So I'm going to set that to 400, and we can see that a transom is inserted along the top. Now I'll switch to the glazing panels to divide up the lower section. If I select this panel and click plus, we can see that it divides it in two. If I keep doing that process, we see that it's now divided into the four panels. Each of these panels is independently selectable and each one can also contain a unique type of component. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to pick a completely different option for each panel. Let's say the first one will be a left slider. And we'll make the next one a right slider. We'll go for a double hung window here. But in this case, I don't want the opening to occupy the whole height. I'd like to have a panel underneath it. So I'm going to insert a panel below. Now with that panel selected, I can change that to louvers. I'd like the last panel to be a door. So we'll go for left hung door. Now again, I don't want this to be the full height. 2.4 meters is a bit high for a door. So I'll insert a panel above. And just for interest, let's say that that is an awning window. Now if I wanted to control the height of those panels that I have, I could go back to the shape and say, for example, that I would like that top panel to be 400 and the panel at the bottom should be, say, 500. And we can immediately see that updated in the preview. 
Now I'll move on to the door leaf. I'd like the panel to look like this. And now I'd like to pick the surfaces. I'll just move to a 3D view so we can see what we're getting. Now overall, I'll just go for a white door. But I'd like the panel on that to be glazed. If I move on to all attributes, in general I'd like the surfaces to remain as is. But I'd like the main frame to the outside to be white. There's a lot more detail that we could cover, looking at the hardware, detailing the frame, the glass, and the trims. But time's moving on and we don't have time to look into all of those details. But I think this gives you a reasonable impression of what it's capable of. Now placement of the window works just like any other ARCHICAD object. I'll click first to indicate the position and then again for the orientation and we can see our finished unit in 2D and in 3D. Now without the doors and windows tool we could have possibly made something like this by ganging pieces together, perhaps assembling two to three different doors. I think we'd have had some trouble making this, but what you'd end up with is something that was fundamentally different pieces, and so editing that, moving it, scheduling it would all become problematic. And the interface for each of those objects would vary slightly.